Hi, wanted to do a video on some of the um, unique or uh, less common aspects of the uh, steam supply on this uh, this old system here. Uh, I believe the house was built in uh, 1901, so this is uh, very late Victorian, early Edwardian stuff. That's a malleable fitting there, which was very expensive in the day. Um, and this is an inch and a half main. Yes, we know it should be insulated. Um, customer said that they were definitely going to be doing that, so that'll definitely help. So we get to here, we got this, uh, had to keep the wires separated from the hot steam pipe, of course. And we've got an inch and a half by one by inch and a half T. And then we've got, looks like a, a street L, a malleable street L. Uh, as I say, the late Victorian. And it goes to, with this ridging here, this is telling me, I believe, that this is a right hand, left hand coupling. Because back in the day, they were really, the, the unions were kind of iffy. Uh, the unions are much better nowadays, but the left hand, right hand uh, coupling was the best they had in the day. And this is pitching down. So you have condensate running down and the steam is moving along. And at this end, we have a drip. And this type of drip allows for a lot more steam to uh, flow up to upper radiators for this size pipe. And they were able to, normally this would be, if this was counterflow, this would probably not be able to handle uh, the load that's connected to it up upstairs. Uh, sometime in the past, a um, traps were added to all of these drips. Uh, in order to install a condensate return tank which was being uh, used instead of a boiler feed tank. So a lot of effort was made to really bollocks up the system. And so we did a simplification in removing the trap and just having a direct drip. There's a, in order to make this work, as I, I used a um, male by female uh, brass uh, coupling to allow for, because none of these pipes moved very well at all, so I needed to dial this in. And uh, that's how that started to work there. Um, so let's go over here. And we're back to this T again, as we described. This is the flow there. So this is a, this is now pitching up, and it's a one inch supply to a radiator um, in the, uh, what would be called the parlor back in that day and for the last pandemic. And this is the return on the other side of the radiator. And so this is the business end of a two pipe air vent system before they had reliable traps. And so this allowed for the water drainage to then, you see the nice bend in the pipe and uh, that's where the trap was. And so we were able to remove the trap and the water drops down here. And this is about where the water line is. So this is sealed. So you need a vent all, one of the few times for a two pipe system that you absolutely do need a vent on the radiator to allow it to work. So I hope that, that was of interest, um, how they did things back in the day. I mean, look at that lovely drunken thread there to get that pitch up. Um, the person who put that in really knew what they were doing. And uh, as always, I really appreciate your comments. And um, I hope this is uh, of interest to those who uh, desire to learn more about STEAM systems. Thanks again and take care.